All right. Warm up. Oh, <laughs> this is like that we play. What is this? Cool. All right. <laughs> of course, it'll pair us up. Just... Basically, when you join the first time, um, it filters you out. It filters people in and out based on their connection. So, I mean, the more if, if more folks in North America play, then usually they kind of pair us with them. Um, but it's still there's still some bad stuff that can still occur, like. Um, for example, like, you know, if we have a small room, we might get just, we might just get paired up or filtered out to a different group. So, and that's the other thing that, that can occur. Yeah, one bar connection with ah ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. All right, let's see all this filtering. How's everybody doing today? That's the other thing too, it can't get really laggy. <laughs> so right now I'm trying out the tournament mode. This is the first yeah, time I'm trying it. And then I'm getting yeah, Generally this is folks that I have, it's a lot of EU folks. Have. So you can hear the wonderful soothing so voice of VF numbers on the first stream. Kind of chatting side by side with that. Probably rest my legs for ten minutes. Oh, this is the sorting process, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it happened to us in 
really bad. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time trying out the um, tournament, and uh, I told numbers that this is like uh, Virtua Fighter Kino right now, <laughs> and that's probably how the winners determine too. <laughs> so I'm glad they try. I'm glad they try. Um, I think it could lead to better things in the long, long run. But man. This is interesting. At least we know a lot of people are playing VFC. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest my legs, sit at the table for a bit. The setup I'm at right now is a standing setup. It's good, good for my health, but still, I think I'm gonna go sit down for a minute before the tournament. I'll be back five minutes. I'll be back about in the last three minutes before the tournament starts. And let's see how this goes.
It's okay if you're yeah, yeah, developing player type. Like, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think we all been in that phase early on. Like, when we first played BF. I remember that phase very well. I, I, I kind of just played by feel, to be honest. I didn't know frame data. I didn't know that none of that stuff. I kind of just mashed my way to kind of get better and better. Eventually, you know, once, once I found out about VRPC and stuff, oh, okay. You know, it, it's, I think that's what made the game really fun for me overall, is just playing it, playing it that way, playing it aggressive. Um, having the having the frame data knowledge will help help reinforce um, why this and why that work and stuff. So, but then actually that kind of made the game more enjoyable, you know. Because um, you know, once I understood that, okay, if I did this and you know, and I got beat, and I know I know that I got beat because of this. 
but I like, but then it made the game a lot more enjoyable. No, 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 the ins and outs. And I seen a few go. Um, I'm doing the attack. Why would I? <laughs> why would I think about not hitting? And I'm actually like in the game. Even if you get blocked, it's an opportunity. Yep. Yep. That's what I learned today. Now, <laughs> yeah, I blocked, I get my boot blocked on purpose, and I'm going for another follow-up attack. <laughs> no, because it, it, it's just a, it's a head That's really so that a, that a steal their turn. <laughs> It was, to me, it was frustrating at first to try to play that way. You know, to steal turns, to try to practice stealing turns. Um, I think, I mean, I, I did have some kind of limitation on the rules itself. Like my own mental block. That I would I would play like a certain way. And, um, you know, and that generally that won't make me better at all. So, until I release that mental block, which I felt like I did. Definitely understanding that hey, you know, this this is another option that that I have, you know, to retake the situation that, that, I, that I put myself in. This is, I am in a brutal part of this bracket. What's with all of these? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm like low tier today. That's okay, that was expected. I am low rank, so. Here we go. Glass heart, come at me. Let's see how this goes. Let's get it on. Let's not crash. How bad will I lose? Let's see. I haven't fought Glass Heart, but I think they are Japanese. They're, I think they're really good, right? So, let's see. Not evade on this lag. Okay, the lag's not bad. The lag's not bad. Oh, okay, the lag is a little bad. That sucks. Okay, that sucks that I'm getting 9p for no reason. so good. Uh, this is a worthy match, so I'm happy about this. I just hate the lag a bit, but... Chan Chai finally hates lag, right? Okay, that really sucked.
There you go. Good game. Good game. On the battlefield, he'd be dead. Fire so good. It's an honor. Very good game. That was an awesome game. Mission accomplished. So much fun. I do have a hard time with the Leon Mirror, so let's see how that goes. I might lose. I might go 0 oh and 0. Oh. How 
will be dying in line there. <laughs> oh, you lost the glad bar? Yeah. I lost the, uh... Ah. Today. I let's see. All right, here we go. There's Glassheart. Glassheart's awesome. Where's my match? We wait. I guess we wait. Right. Come on, Glassheart. <laughs> Sorry, you can do it. Try to cheer on the person that beat me. Go glass heart, come on. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Ready? Yeah, the lucky. 
format. Go Hidetan Leon. Let's hope I can pull this through. It's gonna be really hard. Uh, gonna mess it up so bad. stuff dead. All right, let's see. This is Hideaton. Uh, Response is slow, now I know how slow it is. Okay. Round one. Ready, go! 
It's a little slow, it's a little lag, but it's playable, very playable. took the 9p again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Maybe I gotta readjust the stick, but it's all good. Oh. Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Hidetan. I had a lot of fun. It's too bad I went to 0 but that was uh, still an awesome match, and I almost, I'm almost i glad I almost won that, though. But instead of 4 6 P plus K, I got 9 P. That was brutal. So I think I'm going to figure that out and figure out why I am getting stuff like that tonight, because that wasn't the first time that happened tonight. Um, Almost won that.
That's the name. It's a, it's a regular BMP seal. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> He didn't turn, no! But no is very strong. Yeah. I don't know how I got 9p from 4 6 people. <laughs>
round two. Ready, go! Right. Let's see how this is going. Hey, princess. <laughs> I didn't do too well in this tournament. Um, I lost uh, first two games, but they were they were good games. Um, so I enjoyed them. Glass Heart was the one who beat me in the... who knocked me out of the winner's bracket. And you can see that they are just doing really good, even though right now they're hanging on against uh, this really strong bow. And then I also lost to uh, Hidetan Leon, who I almost beat. I almost beat Hidetan Leon, but somehow, instead of back forward punch plus kick, I got up forward nine, I, or up forward punch. I don't know how that happened. So, um, I, I, I have an idea. I think I accidentally hit up forward P plus K, and the game just interpreted it as up forward P. And so my Leon jumped in the air instead of, uh, you know, just poking the character that's already com comboed. It took me by total surprise because I rarely have that problem. But it's okay. It's what it is. But uh, it's a lot of fun, and there was a lot of cool stuff. And you know that Leon actually destroyed me in the first game. So game two and three was a lot of fun because I, I think I totally surprised him and and won three zero, like three zero or three one in the second game. And then the third game was the final round, and it was really close. And I finally, I, I landed the combo, or I landed the, the launcher, and then it dropped. It turned into the wrong move by a lot. So it's what it was, but it was a lot of fun. And this was a good first tournament experience, even though I lost both games. Uh, I, I lost against good players. But now Glassheart just got knocked into the loser's bracket, so let's see if they climb back up. I'm doing the due diligence of seeing this through. So... Glassheart, the one that knocked me out, is going to fight the winner of this match. And Nell is a really good player. Nell beat Hidetan Leon, who is the... Hidetan Leon is the one that beat me. Alright, so... People don't normally stick around. I stick around for these. These are awesome. Yeah. So... It's like, let's watch the tournament, right? Let's watch the feed. Oh man, they're down to the wire there. Very intense. I think this is. I do think these are Japanese players, but I don't know. I don't know where Glass Heart's really from. I have a yellow bar connection to them, though. <laughs> Tournaments are cool. I like it. And I like that this one's working, anyways. The funniest one was that, so Numbers was in here with me. Uh, the funny thing was Shidosha is in a tournament where Shidosha is like ranked 40 something. And there's like a lot of, like the highest rank is like 30 or something like that. <laughs> and so, I don't know what happened there. Shidosha should have been in this tournament. So, what it is. Hmm. Alright. Okay, Nell. Nell is, I think Nell is the one that eliminated uh, numbers. No. Newman beat. He did tell Leon like twice. Hmm. Elbow palm, crouch dash. And that's like C money, like evade in the kick kick. Nice, trying to bait people with a launcher. But Leon, or Lao always commits very quickly, even offline. 
Because if he waits, he loses. So he has to make his like decisions. He's forced to choose his attack option right away. Nice. Man. This is a lion hunt that's really scary against the against the dragon lord. The dragon thing. That was so cool. Nice. See why Nell beat up on the guy who gave me a hard time. He did time. So, let's see. Ready, go. Nice. Oh my gosh. So cool. Turned so mean. Round three. Ready, go. Nice. Now, let's see how you do when you fight against, uh, against Glassheart. I want to play Lao so bad right now. <laughs> Combos don't work. Nice. Very nice guess. And that's where it looks like Virtual Fighter 4 style movement. That's like VF4 style movement there. I mean, a light version of it. Versus Glass Heart after Hunt, I gotta. Alright. Well, let's see. Bottom bracket, or uh, the bottom of the loser's bracket is pretty. There. And then the winner's bracket is gonna be. How are you doing today, Princess? Oh. 
I'm gonna go check something really quick. I'll be right back, but feel free to respond. Here we go. This is the battle I've been wanting to watch. Alright, keep it up. Keep it up. Let me know how the progress goes. <laughs> These two must play each other a lot. Like, they're, they're playing like with kind of like some deep reads, I think. I could be wrong, but it looks like that's what they're doing. Yeah, something I found out when fighting Glass Heart though is you gotta you gotta be frame tight on the evade game. They like they they'll do the fastest thing. And this is hard. <sighs> nice evade. That move is actually tricky to evade. Um, well, she she used it in the case where you could evade it like that. Very nice confirm. That that high elbow was done on purpose. It's chosen right in the very in that split moment. I like Nels' movement though. It's VF4 like. Lot wow, of crouch back dash. But at the right range. Oh, very nice. Wow. That was an exciting game. But exciting final round. Because Glassheart beat me up so badly, I would let, like really badly. I'm, I'm cheering for them, but I really like Nels' uh, Lau. This is a Lau I'd like to watch more of. So. Round one. Ready, go! That 9P is such a good move. Vanessa's like flying punch. Mixed martial arts punch. <sighs> Nell's the thief. They keep taking these rounds right when Glassheart thinks that they got it. It's really exposing that heart of glass. Trying to make puns like you do, Princess. <laughs> You had a lot of clever puns that I didn't realize you made the other day, so. Uh, that attack will always get me. Alright. They should not allow stamps <laughs> in tournament. Please tell me they don't allow stamps in tournament, but that's like not cool. Excellent. <laughs> I do like your puns very much. Let's see. 
I, I do like how this costume looks a lot like Nolly's costume, except with pink hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't whiff your dough. No. Alright, Glass Heart is out. Nell is moving on to the next part of the loser's bracket. I think it's in the DLC. I think it's um, it's part of the costume uh, D. I think we're on. There's going to be costume set E, which is a different type of full-on costume, and then there's costume type S, which is like like they're wearing swimsuits. But then there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can put on that on costume S. Um, so there's probably gonna be two DLCs for making up the final showdown costumes. And then hopefully there's more costumes after that. But what's in Final Showdown is a lot. And so I'm expecting that stuff to come in two DLCs from now when they do the Type S. Because when they do the Type S, that's when they probably need to release like lots and lots of items for each costume type. But right now they're just drip feeding, they're just doing it bit by bit. Because it, it's a lot of work. Um, they're not just copying these costume parts from Final Showdown, they're actually remaking them. And some of them, some items also create extra um, wind poses. Like, there's a wind pose for Leon if he has like a little puppy, uh, where like he looks like the Virtua Fighter 3 animation movie, in the Virtua Fighter 3 movie, opening movie of the game, where Leon like saves like a puppy that's crossing the street. And so they kind of put that in the game as a wind post if you have that puppy as a belt item. Don't worry, it's not it's not cruel use of the puppy, it's more like a stuffed do dog that's like, you know, on his belt. Yeah. So it's a very cute thing. Yeah, and so they got lots of cool stuff in Final Showdown. The thing I would love is if they... They're not going to do it, but... If they could do like the demo movies, so there's like a, in the arcade, when you pick your character with your account, it actually makes, has like a demo reel of your character that you could make where they're, they have costumes, there's a moving background, and they do like poses and stuff. And it's pretty cool to see in the arcade, but it's not in the home version. Final showdown. Now oh, we're watching that. Round one. Ready, go! So, because I'm watching this tournament, because I am interested in these matches, uh, it shows you a side of myself that can bother some people because I'm the type of person who in the movie theater likes to sit and watch the credits just as a kind of a thank you to the movie and all the people that made it yeah I'm not sure <laughs> it's probably gonna arrive this summer to be honest at the rate that they're going uh, <laughs> I, I'm not expecting I'm expecting like in the spring like in March we'll get we'll get like a DLC pack and then we'll finally get the good one like on the one year anniversary of Ultimate Showdown <laughs> Yeah, it, it's perfectly fine to just be picky about what you get. I would say you can just wait for, you know, I think when the Type S comes out, they'll probably have like a deluxe DLC that's like cheaper, that has all of them. I, I'm willing to bet that's going to happen. That's going to make people upset. But, you know, we got, to, we got early access to the stuff in the DLC. So that one will be like a big deluxe set, and I, and I think that's fine. That's like when you go to a convention, and if you want to buy that thing on day one just to guarantee you get it, because it doesn't sell out, and to guarantee you got to play around with that cool thing 
or, or you had access to it before anybody else did. So it's more expensive on day one of a convention. And then day two, it's cheaper maybe, but really day three is when they discount it because they got to get rid of all their inventory. Right? So I, I think that's totally fine. And I, I'm with you. Uh, as long as you enjoy it, like the value is not determined by the price. The value is determined by what you get from actually using or having that item. You know, the price is just what you paid for it, and sometimes you get greater value than the price. So, we shouldn't determine so much based on just the price. The price was just the access. But, um, you know, easy to say that if you have means, but at the same time, uh, that's what determines what's worth it, you know? Um, like, people want me to sell one of my, like, my old car that's fully paid off, and I'm like, well, to get the most value of it, I just use it. Um, and selling it, I don't think I actually get much out of it. So, <laughs> you know, so. But to each their own and to each thing, you know. But I am a natural hoarder, and so that is something I have to address. I, I try to train my children not to be hoarders. I try to. I tell them that I, uh, that I am a hoarder, but I, I think it would be better for them if they got used to communal, just sharing the toys, even though it's boy and girl, and getting used to just this idea that they can let go of it, they can throw it away, or they can keep it, but they but like they don't have to have to keep everything, you know, because that's my habit, and uh, and I feel like it's it's better if you're not that attached. You know, um, it's better if, if you decide to trade it and sell it, and it's better for a living. <laughs> you know, because because uh, I have way too you know I, I I have way too much stuff. I'll just say that. So. I am very sentimental. Yeah, that's a big part of it. But, um, but sometimes you just gotta learn to enjoy the day of and the prospect of the next day, you know? Um, because there's not much you get to take with you in the end, but you do have good memories and you'll still have those. But you can have the memories without having the object, but I, I still wanna have the object. But I wanna train my children not to worry about that. And so that, so I do kind of train them. We, what we do is we get them in the habit of giving away their, giving away some of their toys so that, to people that they think will enjoy it more, and think of it as a, you know, it's like Toy Story three. Think of it as having a nicer home, you know. All right. Gosh, Lau's on the board. Sasuke Neko uh, Neko Nyako Yanko <laughs> Round one How about two days? Go! It was it was but I think it was a very good one. I, I actually think that was a really good ending for the for the series. Um I the, I did enjoy four, but not nearly as much as one, two, three. Oof. You really thought it was going to be low, okay. Come on for it. That was a cool trap. That's I think Sean's gonna win this. <laughs> Round three. Ready, go. 
That said, I'm not betting on either. I think the other players are stronger than these two. But I think these two are very cool. And I think the other the other players are stronger. Oh, but these two got in the winner's finals and knocked really strong players down, so what am I saying? Nice. Oh, that's it. Nope. Oh my gosh. second place all right this next fight is going to be very exciting and then the finals <laughs> another good pun and yes they are very dangerous these players are strong they are really strong i don't know what kind of gold cup we're talking this is a rainbow cup <laughs> you know well this match is probably going to be determining who i i'm willing to bet even though this is the loser's semifinals, I think this is kind of the gonna be the winner of the tournament. Oh my gosh, let's see. This is so scary. This is Akira. This is what a juice box is working on. Oh, that's good read. Keep it up, keep it up. Play the long game with Virtua Fighter. <laughs> Secure is nasty. So it's a princess? Oh. That is a cure of power. I'm gonna drink some water. I do wonder if these players are from Japan because I recognize some of the names. But... And the type of handles they have too. But... I will try to do this each Friday night, this tournament. I like it. It's really late. It's 4 a.m. for me, but I, I really enjoy it. I want to do it again. Even if I get beat up, I really want to do it. If I want. Round three. Ready, go. Alright, come on. 
Come on now, you can do it. You took out both of the people that beat me. You gotta do this. <laughs> the line of succession must be you. <laughs> So nice. Recovery hit. Oh, that was such a good backdash too. I appreciate that. It, yeah, it's, um, I just enjoy the game. I, I enjoy winning, obviously. And obviously my goal is to be stronger, but... Um, I think I'm different than a lot of people where I do know Serlin who wrote the book playing to win but I and 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 I don't disagree with his points actually but I really like uh, but I've always had a kind of a growth mindset approach where I'm just like yeah I'm just uh, the main thing I'm competing against is myself <laughs> you know? but I love watching this game I just love the game There's so much better. Oh, thank you Nice to lay tries though. Oh. oh. I, I hate it when I see like when like you know that he, he wanted to convert that it didn't work out. Oh. Good reversal right there. That's a clutch. Ready? Go! Oh, that was so cool. So I, I really like Nell's movement. I like the way he moves backwards. I assume it's a he, but you know, we'll use it based on the character. So he moves backwards and with like really good movement, like classic VF4 style movement. And then that one P plus K, that hammer fist, is such a nice one. The way they use this four P plus K, which is how you're supposed to play Lao, which is the the up and then another one after that. So he's he hits with that and then he checks to see if he gets it and he's. You know, he's very good at confirming it. He's good at picking when to use it. Oh, and that was an interesting try. He thought he thought they were gonna evade. That hop kick is so mean, as as you've seen from Juicebox using it. Oh, that was so good. That was really really good. You can do this now. You got this. And that move, that little like hand knife into punch, so knife punch kick. That's a that's a basic thing that you do with Lao when when you see people like miss attacks, uh, when they've got like an opening, you can you get that for free. So you just like three PPK. It's like ch -ch -ch, you know. And so that's when when you see him do that, that's like similar to like uh, a Jackie or a Sarah doing like elbow pump, elbow kick. When they see like somebody um, did like a low, like a crouching attack and missed, and then they can just go, "Oh, I'll just elbow kick that," or Jackie likes to do beat knuckle, you know. Uh, Lau likes to do that. So he goes. So, that's a good opening, forward, forward, punch and kick, which is just two spinning hands. It's got such long range and it's a full circular. So it punishes the people that like to step but not move backwards. Nice fuzzy. So it did not attack from the duck whiff, but it's online, so that's really hard to do. But these players are Japanese, or the way they play. Nice. Confirmed that, like didn't get it, turned it to a fuzzy guard. Yep, confirmed that. He's teaching me how to play loud. <laughs> nice evade choice. Very nice. He's, he's completely read uh, Mahime. Nice. Oh, he didn't go for like the that combo, but he was. They set up. Okay. 
good game now. That's the person I'm betting on, so I'm really happy that not one, but I really liked how they read the Akira. And like I said, I, I'm betting on them to win the tournament, but who knocked out Nell? Was it the Shun? Nell lost to Glass Heart and then got revenge on Glass Heart um, later. So now it's Nell versus. Okay. All right. I'm betting on Nell, but Sasuke was very strong against, was pretty good against uh, Shun. So now we got the battle of the Laos, like you said. In the loser's final. But Sasuke has gotten the best four. So they're, like last week, they got a best four in one of the tournaments. But again, I, I'm betting on now. And I'm gonna, I might lose that bet. <laughs> Right, Laos. Nice. I was wondering about. Nice. Went for the full circular blow. So strong. Oh, nice. I wonder if there was something better that could be done there because of the back turn hit. Nice back throw. It's not as much damage, but still. It's probably guaranteed, though. It was guaranteed. Oh, very nice. I love Shadosha's streams. I know the attitude is not for everyone, but I, I love Shadosha. <laughs> See here. <laughs> now I'm just owning this. That 3 3 P confirmations, good choices off of them. It's I like watching the way they use the movement. This move, uh, this tournament, it was quite a bit. Uh, we'll check it after the match. Um, but I think it was 16. Maybe maybe it's less. But I think it was 16. I really like the movement of now though. Fuzzy guard and this Hadouken. That. Crouch dash into this kick. Nice. So what they did there was a back crouch dash. They anticipated the high because if they were guessed wrong, they're so screwed. If if Lao did like a side kick, he'd be dead. Um, but he anticipated the high there. He was like, it's gonna be a high. So he went under it and punished it. His forward throw, stomp. Nope. Stomp's not guaranteed in this game. I was good. Good. And that was really good of the of um, Sasuke to to break that stagger so fast. Online, that's kind of hard, but this is this is probably a Japan match, so they're probably playing like um, almost like very close to offline. That was an awesome game. Game three comes game three. 
And there was... Yeah, this is like what? 12? 16. 16 players. At the Japanese level, it's hard. Okay, so they know that like they can break the stagger, so they'll backdash, knowing that they might break the stagger if they get hit out of it. Man, good job, Sasuke. Gotta hang in there. It's really good using the one P and low Hadouken. Shin, Shin, Palmer. All right, guard break got nothing. He took the hit. Oh, that was cool. He stopped the 3-3-P. Three, three oh, very nice. Man, Sasuke's coming back. Sasuke is not, is not free. Not free at all. Very nice. Nice, I love one, okay, like, in America, not enough people like using 1P plus K, I love that move. It punishes people that do low punch or low kick. It's a zone trap move, but I like that move because it gives you a free combo. C-Money does use it though. Nice, back dash evade into that direction. Still in there. Ah, Sasuke's on the board. So like Sasuke is guessing the evades and throwing them, or the standing guards, but really the, the movement. So the, that's the downside to movement in this game. If you're doing steps like that, you're doing a lot of evades, so if the opponent, so you are opening yourself up to throws. That's how, you know, throwing is how you stop somebody moving that way in your face. Match. This is awesome. I love Lao. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be practicing a lot of Lao. This is just so much fun stuff. <laughs> That's the risk of doing 3 3 P. It's the, La the infamous Lao Wall game. Nice fuzzy into the into low. Oh boy, this match. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my bet. <laughs> That's right. Nice. Nice. This is similar to my Leon's back turn games. Nice. Took the hit on the guard break. Nice. That's exactly it. Evade into the 4-6-P. Alright, Sasuke. You have to do this if you want to stay in here. Oh. Nice evades. He's completely got him. He's completely got the pressure. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Alright, let's see how the final goes. I'm gonna put, plug the charger into my iPad.
Thank you all for joining me and watching this tournament. So, we are at the grand finals. Right here. Ha ha ha. Versus Nell. Yeah. This is it. It's for all the marbles. 16 players down to these two. I think I got into a Japanese tournament. Because I recognize some of these names too. Oh! I thought that was going to be Ring Out. <laughs> oh. No, now it's gonna be the one laughing if uh, this Jones needs to get his drinks. Let's see, this is really hard. Nice. He's not getting the guesses he needs. Maybe a 1k carry, is it bad? He doesn't do that. Yeah, that's always hard. Um, you get um, a title that says what place you got in the tournament, and the best the best place you got over the weekend. And you also get like bonus if you play ranked, like you'll you'll be gaining a lot more points for ranked. Um, but it is cool to have that title for a week. And that title hangs over as like an extra title. I also heard you get a lot of rank points too. This is my first time playing the tournament mode, and I and I think everybody knows I don't really care about rank or points. Um, I just like I just play when I can because I want to have fun, but I'm also very busy. <laughs> Thank you very much again, Nelly. You're always being so nice. Um, but this one is this match is really fun to watch. But it's been fun watching Nell's run. You know, I was cheering for Heart of Glass because they're the ones who knocked me out of the winners bracket. And um, and they were really strong, but watching Nell, they knocked Nell into the losers bracket, but Nell eliminated them in the losers bracket, and and Nell's been the person I've been betting on winning the tournament since then. So. But fun fact: Nelly is in the history of North American VF. Nelly is one of the most notorious Shun players too in the past. But now, I loved Vanessa, and your Eileen's looking scary. Or your Eileen looks like you're, you're figuring out Eileen. But it's awesome watching you learn Eileen. So... Get uh, that. Guess correctly on all of that Okazumi. <laughs> I've never seen that combo. <laughs> All right, game one goes to now. That was very close. Shun got the drinks that they needed, and uh, and made it a cl much closer game. And that's the usual thing with Shun, because Shun kind of starts off as one of the worst characters in the game, gets drunk, and becomes the best character in the game. So usually that's the Shun game plan. It struggle Shun can struggle against Leon just because Leon does like normal things and will um, will sober Shun. And at first I thought that maybe Akira would have a hard time sobering, but that's not the case. Akira gets all the Nitaku tools to sober Shun and has some combos too. And just basically and Shun doesn't like being pushed into Nitaku that much. So that's got to be like hell for Shun because Akira can use two different, can use forward or back throw to sober Shun and do damage. Um, Akira can just set up Nitaku like crazy with his mids while doing damage while it's sobering Shun. So that that's really scary. Anyways, back to Lao versus Shun. I love watching Nels' movement, both forward and backwards. It's like the closest thing to Virtual Fighter 4 in this game. Now side turn forcing. Because I do want to understand uh, like Lao's side turn game as well. 
Oh, I think he missed his chance to really mess him up. Those conversions are so mean. It's like low kick barely hits. Nelly, do you know much about Heart of Glass? Are they a Japanese, like, Vanessa player? Like, I had a lot of fun fighting them. I got beat up by them, but it was so much fun fighting them. And then it was really fun watching fighting against uh, the Japanese Leon. Yeah, Grumpy Doom. Let's learn. We're, we're going to build the Lao army. You know? So, Jake John, C Money, Black Belt Spartan. <laughs> Actually, I like Black Belt Spartan. I've never had a. I haven't played Black Belt Spartan enough, but I've always had a good experience, so I'll just be honest about that. So that's why I gotta always give those props, right? But, um, but you know, they're one of the best LoL players in the game. One of the very best LoL players we had in Final Showdown was Jokosef. Uh, or LoL of America. They were really good. Um, but I, I didn't get to play them much at all. So Grumpy Doom, you're gonna help. You're gonna help man the the Lao army. Uh, I'm gonna practice Lao too, just because Lao is really fun. This movement though is like Dennis O201 movement. You know, <laughs> this is the movement Dennis O2 likes. This is gonna make Dennis O201 play Lao <laughs> when I show him this video. Yep. This is pretty much over, <laughs> so... Round three. Awesome, awesome Grumpy Doom. By the way, sorry we didn't get to play yesterday, Grumpy, but I really appreciate you joining the room. And I'm, I'm glad you followed us. I know it's hard. Uh, feel free to ask us questions, though, because uh, I've been watching out for you. Alright, congratulations to Nell for winning the tournament. Uh, one of my bets to win the tournament, so I'm very happy that I chose correctly thank you all for very much for watching this was a lot of fun i am gonna rest because i've got a lot to do i've got a long day tomorrow but i hope after that long day that i'll get to play some virtual fighter but i'm not gonna lie it's been a stressful new year for me who is this oh that's right now this is the grand finals because he reversed it so what happened loser beat the winner loser's winner beat the winner's winner so now we have the real final. This is the actual ground final. This is the reset. Because the lose because the losers coming from the losers bracket, they have to do the extra mat like they had to knock them out and set. So here we go. Alright, ha ha ha. Are you gonna do it? Are you a Taiwanese player? I will ask Dennis O201. Going for the 6 6 P plus K. I thought he might go for 4 6 P or something. Oh, so, so that's really good ring awareness. He did that knowing he was going to get that conversion hit. Every, Princess, everything adds up. Every little thing adds up in this game. So don't worry, there is no wasted practice. I um, I feel like this game has rewarded me a lot because I like to play around with the move list. I like to do all kinds of stuff. And similarly, that's why it also feels rewarding for Juicebox because it rewards all of his practice, study, and experimentation. So it, it all adds up. and. One of the wonderful things about this game and why people don't get bored of it, like most people that love this game do not get bored of it after 10 years. Like, we're still learning new stuff. So keep it up. And, and keep enjoying those practice and... Uh, 
and it takes time getting used to putting them into actual matches too. Whether it's the CPU or our humans. Nice. Oh. So that's not guaranteeing I'm back. Okay. That's why. Okay. So it's like a flat out guess that in that situation. I thought it would be guaranteed. Might be that you would us. Oh my gosh, what? That was a good way to win the, win the game. Yeah, so recovery hit on um, Grumpy Doom. Um, yeah, so basically, if you can attack during the recovery frames, if you can hit during the recovery frames of a move, of an attack, then with that 4P plus K, then the second, then the launcher's guaranteed. So that's why you use it as a whiff punisher, and you. What I recommend learning or practicing as you play is watching your opponent while you do your move. A lot of stuff is really hard to confirm in this game, but a lot of stuff's bufferable. And so what you can actually do is that I call we you know we now call it uh, animation checking. I used to call it pre-checking. But that but that only makes sense if you know what like hit checking is. And so instead of quote unquote so what I do is uh, is I recommend you estimate the outcome. You predict what's going to happen when your move connects. Is it gonna hit? Is it gonna counter hit? Uh, is it gonna whiff punish? Uh, is it gonna whiff itself? And sometimes you have that information before it actually makes contact. Because you, if you watch what your opponent's doing while you're attacking, this is really scary to explain at first. So I don't really try to tell too many people about it, but I'm a firm believer in it. Because Leon has a move like Elbow Punch and Technically, it's not hit confirmable. You can't wait for the hit and then press the button to to do the second part. That's not like that doesn't work. It doesn't let you do that. But you can see if an opponent's crouching. You can see if an opponent is in the middle of an attack before your elbow connects. Right. Same thing with this move. When you throw this move, you're not waiting for it to hit. You're watching to see what the opponent's doing, and or if they're stuck and then you're, you're predicting what's going to happen and that's what what has you hit the punch plus kick and what i compare that to i compare that to like you're driving in the rain and somebody and then in the freeway and somebody hits like a big puddle and the water splashes towards your car you react before that thing hits your windshield because you know what's going to happen you know that that water's going to hit it you know you're not going to be able to see so you kind of slow yourself down Maybe you pop the, maybe you make the windshield wiper go faster, but you kind of know that's going to happen before it, you're not waiting for it to hit the window, right? You're seeing it coming. Same thing. Uh, when you're doing the 4P plus K, you can kind of watch and you're like, oh, he's in an attack animation. There's a, like, then I'm probably going to get either a counter hit or a recovery hit. He's standing there doing nothing, probably going to block, <laughs> you know, he's crouching. I'm going to get the crouch hit. And, you know, so that same thing with the elbow. Uh, you shouldn't do the elbow punch unless you see them in an attack animation or you see them in a crouch. If you see them not in either of those, you should prepare for it to either be evaded with or they block it. And if they block the elbow, you can just buffer in a fuzzy guard. So that's what I used to call it pre-checking. Uh, Juicebox came up with the term animation checking because you're checking the animation of your opponent and then and then making a determination about what the outcome's gonna be. 
So yeah, and in Virtual Fighter, the moves are the moves are fast, but they're slower than other fighting games. When you play Street Fighter, that's like really fast, like six frame is you know like half as fast, like half half the length of time, twice as fast, you know. But Virtual Fighter, it's the fastest punch, you know, is like 11 frames. So, which is still fast, but a lot of moves are 14 or 15 and more. So with experience, you, you start to see it. And with Lao, you, you have to. You need to do this, in my opinion, with Lao. See, like, he's kind of like, in this case, from the experience, he kind of knows, but also, I explained this to another player yesterday. I explained this to another player because they said, how can you check? It's so fast, right? And I said, well, you know, when you hit, when you attack an opponent and they block, you're actually stuck in recovery on your attack and they're stuck in guard stun. So it's not instant. It's not like you're minus five right away. Minus five is just the difference between their recovery and your recovery. So you actually have plenty of time and the game's buffer lets you buffer 10 frames, a full, like, a throw with animations amount of time uh, before you recover. That's a... I don't know any other fighting game that really gives you that much buffer room. That lets you start doing an attack then, and then when your character recovers, they'll do it. You know? And it's the same for Fuzzy Guard. You're supposed to buffer Fuzzy Guard, but you're supposed to hold down forward so that when your character recovers, they'll do the, they'll they'll crouch dash forward right away, and they'll do it automatically because you buffered it. So yeah. So understand this game's buffer is very generous. The only time it's not is like like when you block Pi's attacks. That's probably the only time I feel like it's not like because a lot of Pi's attacks feel like she's plus, but when she's not, and it's because the the block stun was so tiny. And your recovery was so tiny that, like, you were supposed to hit almost right away after the after the move got after the move connected with her. But almost every other character gives you a lot of time, and in fact, I think Leon and Sarah give you too much time because I think the reason people feel like their their inputs are jammed or things don't come out when they're getting poked to death by Sarah or Leon is because I think the hit stun is a little long. And it's like longer than the 10 frame buffer window from the recovery time. And another way, another example, really quick before this thing ends, is like Jackie's kickflip. When you block Jackie's kickflip, it's got ridiculously long. Like, let's just imagine it's got 30 frames of blocks done. You are stunned for 30 seconds. You have a 10 frame buffer window. So that means, like, in theoretically, if it really was 30 frames, for 20 frames, if you hit an input, it does nothing. And that's why people can't punish Jackie's flip kick. They're supposed to wait until they're within 10 frames of the recovery time of when their character recovers. So, congratulations, Neil. Tournament match was settled. That was exciting. I, I think it's worth watching and showing everybody these tournaments. Congratulations to these fine players. I know people like to shade the results, but you know, look at me, I'm set at the bottom, but I fought awesome players, you know? I fought awesome players, and I had a good match. But my first time, that's okay, and they're very strong opponents. But I am con really happy for Nell 5975 winning, so congratulations. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. You can see the full tournament bracket, my sad run was right here, um, right at the top versus Glassheart, who was favored, I think. And then I lost, and then I fought against uh, Hidetan. And with Hidetan, it went to the full final round of the final game. And I actually scored the winning, what was the winning launcher, but I could, my combo dropped. I dropped the combo. Instead of getting four, six P plus K, which is a poke, I got 9P, so Leon just suddenly in the middle of his combo decided to jump in the air and go Air Jordan and lose. So that's what happened. It was really sad, but it was a fun experience and it was fun watching all these matches with all of you. So everybody have an awesome one. I'm going to rest because I've got a lot to do. 
But um, have a good Saturday. I hope that I'll be on late Saturday night, but I'm definitely not going to be on much during Saturday. I've got way too much to do today. Alright. I am going to raid though, so let's... Uh, I think raiding is one of the best things we can do as a community. So I'm going to send you to another VF player. And I, again, thank you all so much.